Hello everyone and I am going to show you how to change the modern new Firefox logo back to the old one. Yeah, uh, so first things first, there's going to be a few sites in the description and here's what I looked up to find them. The first site is the one we're going to use to actually get the logo we want. And it contains a lot of logos. There's the very very old one, the oldest good one, the one we're actually going to be using in this tutorial. The 2005 one, the 2009 one, yeah, yeah, you can see it has all the logos. Uh, you can just go through them, pick the one that you like the most. Uh, actually, I'm going to use the 2009 one because it, it looks good. And you can also open the second side in another window, or another tab, I guess is the actual word for it. And once you have a side uh, logo that you want, in this case, 2013 one, just drag it over here, drop it anywhere. Just grab it here, drag it, and drop it into the thing. And the thing will do it for you. As you can see, it removes the background. This is essential because we don't want a big white square in the middle of our thing. Now you can download this in HD or download it in like normal thing. Uh, I'm gonna do it in HD simply because I I'm going to do it in the normal thing simply because I can. Apparently, HD actually costs more. Huh. Stuff to look up before you actually do the video. And when you downloaded it, I opened the other side. This is Pixel OR. It's a photo editor. And you just go down here and launch Pixel OR X. Ignore these two. Ignore it. Uh, you, they, they do not exist. And you press Open Image. Now it will prompt you to pick an image and we're going to use the one we downloaded. It's going to look something like this. And using this, we're going to make it into a square. Uh, you're going to want to press this button here, crop and rotate. It's a very good button, very pretty button. I quite like it. Now you're going to push the squares against it and try to center it as much as possible. Leave as little space, but if you if you have stone space, it's not like the end of the world or anything. And try to get it to be like the same size and everything. So 200, 200 is good. You might want to do 220, 230. Actually, I'm going to do 210 simply because, simply because I can. You see, 210. Here's what we have. Uh, it gives me enough room that I can just not worry about accidentally cutting off part of the picture, but it looks good. Don't then and just center the thing. But yeah, that works. And then you just press the save button over here. PNG, large and lost this ideal for icons and graphics, as you can see. You press apply here and it gives you the thing. It prompts you to save it. Do not press open or press save. And it is saved. Hit the parade. Now, this website is going to ask you to convert to I. Now, this is the last step we're going to open. Convert. Yo, it converts files, basically. No big whip up there. We're going to want to grab the image we just changed, the one that's very big, blown up. Yeah, we're going to want to grab this one and press open. And it's going to open it for us. And you just press convert, and it's going to convert it for us. Yeah, uh, usually you use specialized software for this kind of things, but nowadays you can just do everything online. And there we go. Now you can just download it, save. Oh, that's a hiccup, my bad. Download it, save it, and yay, 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 hooray. Now, then you just pick the thing you want to change. Uh, properties, you right click on it once and then you press properties down here this says properties this is at the very bottom and then the middle icon over here and the shortcut it's going to say is change icon also you can only change the icon of the shortcuts i mean you could probably do it with like firefox itself but i'd rather not try anything you know yeah and yes okay then you press then you press apply bam it changed now, if you want to change the one down here to match the two, you press 
the Pentum, no, on Pentum Star, it's it's somewhere over here. It's called Pentum Taskbar. Pent taskbar, yeah. You press that, and now the one down here is open. And as you can see, it's the thing here too. Uh, that's all. If you have any questions, please send me your comments. Uh, also, please, God, please give me twenty dollars. Please, just give me twenty dollars. Please, please, I beg of you. 